am again, second video today again. Um, just made the video about the HP Pavilion DB6809 downgrading to Windows XP. Not a good idea. Uh, I thought I'd do a video now, kind of which one XP or Vista. I'm probably about a year and a half too late to make this, or maybe even two years this December too late to make this. But I might still be some people debating upgrading, or for some people downgrading to Windows Vista. As you can see, I am in Windows Vista. This is Ultimate 64-bit, and I have never had, well, no, I, I take that back. I've had very few <laughs> bad experiences with Windows Vista. The problems I've had with Windows Vista, it was a hardware problem with an old HP notebook. Well, then it really wasn't a problem with Vista. But I, well, Vista is faster for me. I have good, I suppose I have good hardware. Don't run Vista on less than 2 gig of RAM. Don't, don't do it. Don't run Vista on, if you have a solo core processor, which means just one um, physical or logical processor, don't run it on less than 1 point, well, probably 1.7 gigahertz. Or 1.6. If it's a tablet, you can you can lower that. Uh, if you've got a, a, a dual core or a quad core or anything bigger than that, that means you have two or four lo or more logical processors. Then you want to have each core being at least 1.2 gigahertz to get it to get about 2.4 2.4 gigahertz. Anyway, so with that, uh, you want to have about 40 gig of hard drive space, 32 gig, you know, whatever. As long as it's over 20, you're fine, depending on what you keep on. But anyways, XP is not a bad operating system, and neither is Vista. The, the, oh, oh, Vista crashes all the time. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Unless you're trying to run software on it that it's not meant to run. Oh, that's everything, though. No, no, it's not. Not anymore. XP was the same way when it came out, guys. You, you can't give... You can't give Vista crap because uh, when it came out, nothing was compatible. And, well, if you remember, XP was the same way. Probably not 2000. It was all still in a little gray block format, even though that has nothing to do with it. But now, just about everything's compatible with Windows Vista. As you can see, this is not a real high-end computer. It's only about $750. It's rated at 3.0. I got 4 gig of RAM in it, 2 cores, 2 gigahertz AMD. Processing, I'm running 64-bit Ultimate. My highest rating is a 4.7. Or 5.7, sorry, my lowest was a 3. We got up. Not a real bad computer, not a real good computer. My ThinkPad, 3.1, I got 2 gig of RAM in that. It's a nice computer, too. Uh, guys, don't buy AMD. I have a video on, on uh, AMD versus Intel. Anyway, business use. I'm get, totally getting off topic here with my video. Business use. Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3. 64 or 32 bit, depending on your hardware, depending on what software you're going to run on. That's it. Don't use Vista for business unless you're a really wealthy business dude and you really want to buy really nice computers. And a lot of the security software still isn't compatible for Vista because everybody's sticking with XP. Home use XP to me, unless you're going to use Media Center, which isn't all that bad, Media Center 2005. Uh, XP really isn't an option. Go with Vista Home Premium or Ultimate. I have a video comparing the editions of Vista. Go look at my channel, if you please. But anyways, Vista is good for that home user. Um, e even if all you do is videos, email, um, photo editing, great in Vista. Video editing, producing, great in Vista. Vista's great, guys. I, I really like it. But a lot of people don't. It looks really cool. you got transparency. you got really nice games in it now. It's a lot of fun. Um, so anyways, hopefully that can help you. I might make another video after this. I hope this doesn't go over my stupid gig limit. Anyway, I think I still have a couple seconds left. But Windows XP, again, not bad. It's not bad, but it, you can get more out of Windows Vista with your sidebar over here, fully custom, customizable. I know mine always looks the same because I, I think I have OCD and it looks good that way. But you can mess around with that, get your stocks, Progressive, Microsoft, Apple, HP, IBM, Dell, and uh, the Dow. Not looking too good right now. 8,500 points. Jeez. Down like 500 today. Friday. 
Anyways, good luck with that. Stick with Vista, guys. Gotta love it.